right, guys, we're gonna play this match. You only see game. one side, dude. Okay, that looks yeah. like nice meat, though. Got big shoulders. Oh yeah, she's, she's fat. You ever seen one of them before, Nick? Not this big in my life, so. Wow. But you have a tip to do it. Good for you. Okay. Three. Something. Three. Three. You're gonna have to go up for this one, Dustin. We might have that steak up. Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> fish. Need I say more? <laughs> Hey, That's where the harpoon was in his back. Got in him after eight hours. O'Connor, the Ross boy. Good job, Connor. Connor threw that dart. He's now a pro. Yes. Yes. Here comes 25 pound loin. Right? Hi. 25 That's pound. a big piece of swordfish right there, guys. A big old swordfish. That's a 20 pound slab of meat right there. We're gonna be eating good, guys. Swordfish steaks. Everybody's eating good for a while. About 21 pounds of yeah. How much do you think it's trying to do? It's really more than At least 20 pounds to get that down? Yeah. Ooh. Get in there, Sadie. Uh-oh. Sadie. That weighs more than you, Sadie. Yeah, it does. <laughs> she weighs 20 pounds, so. <laughs> Ooh. Sadie. Don't trip over it. Wow. Sadie. Sadie, come here. Come here. Is that a quarter now? Yeah. All right, we're halfway done in the first half, so we're a quarter of the way done. There's about 100 pounds of meat right there. Uh oh. Oh, what'd you do with that stuff? That's <laughs> it. All right, that's half of a 750 pound swordfish. We got one more half to go, but everybody's eating good. Oh, you want some of that? We are eating yeah. good for a while. Beautiful. Now judging by the fat content, what would you rate this fish on a scale of one to 10? Mmm, 10 plus. Oh, we got a 10 plus. Do you hear that, guys? The big fish looks delicious. All right, so we're gonna go vacuum seal some of the swordfish. You know, we catch a giant fish like that, we don't wanna waste it. So the people took a lot home with them and we're gonna process the rest. We gave a bunch away already and I'm gonna fill the freezer. Looks good, guys. Vacuum sealed, a bunch more to do. Let's get on it. Lots of swordfish, you guys. Big old steak sealed up. All right, so we got a bunch of swordfish sealed up in the freezer in here. It'll be freezing cold. Check out the tail too from the beast. We got the tail in here. Hopefully we're gonna make a mound with that tail. We'll make a mold of it and then have it to remember forever. Nope. All right, more swordfish for my buddy Kenny. There you go, Kenny. Open up the bag. You ate this, right? You know that. All right, so everybody's always wondering what we do with it all. We're freezing a bunch. We got a bunch of people here at the marina. Nothing's wasted. Nothing's wasted. Kenny, you got dinner. Enjoy. And lunch. Smile, you're on camera. Hey. There's your dinner. Thank you. All righty. All righty, guys. Oh my 
a couple of bags Thank for you, you okay? So You're welcome. You. Enjoy. Thank Fresh you. Fresh swordfish. <laughs> Uncle Billy's been here forever before I was around. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's got swordfish yeah. for me. Don't say I never gave you nothing. Okay, I got right. Deborah's booking trips too. She's got swordfish to eat as well. All right, we're here with sure. Dirk. Scientist, right? Yep. He's a scientist from NOAA, correct? Yep. From NOAA, we're getting some samples. What are these samples gonna tell us? We're gonna look at contaminant loads in the, in the flesh, like uh, mercury, uh, PCBs, those kinds of things that accumulate over years and years of the fish <laughs> eating whatever it's eating. <laughs> gotcha. There you go. Some samples right see there. How, see how safe it was to eat. All right, he's gonna check it out, see the contaminants, see all the levels in it, and uh, I don't think it'll kill us. We'll so let you know. Yeah, we'll let you guys know. It's safe to eat. That's the eyeball right there. We're gonna send it in for testing. They said they might be able to tell how old it is by looking at the lens. Kind of cool stuff. To the scientist it goes. Awesome. We just stop there. So we can use that to see what this thing's been eating. All right, he says they're gonna use stable isotope analysis to see what the fish has been eating most of its life. <laughs> yeah. I'll leave that up to the professionals. <laughs> Thanks, Good <Dan>. luck. <laughs> Thanks for coming by and getting the samples. Yeah. There's what we caught him on right there, guys. On that mahi belly, 10 mustad, right there. Biggest swordfish I've ever seen, right on that bait. Where's that fish? All right. <laughs> Said he knows what the swordfish looks like. We're gonna go cook some here in a few minutes from that 757. We got the Traeger app open on the phone. I'm gonna fire up the grill right now. 757 pound swordfish, some fresh steaks. I'm just gonna pat them dry a little bit real quick. We're gonna go simple. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in all of them. I'm gonna rub that in. We're gonna do one with pork and poultry rub. That's Sarah's favorite. As long as there's no pepper in there, she's happy. Of course, fin and feather rub. That's kind of my go-to one there. And then just some salt and pepper. Basic and simple. Salt on it. And some pepper. We're gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. All right, are we ready for the Traeger? Somebody asked me if I was worried about the mercury content in that big giant swordfish. I'm not eating 100 pounds of it. You know, we're gonna eat it one meal a night this week, one meal a night next week. We gave a ton of it away. We're not gonna get sick from it. I'd rather eat this any day of the week than eat all the stuff we eat on a normal day. All right, we got the grill at 400 degrees. Time to throw them on. Ooh, what's that? Look at that. Oh yeah, you can hear that sizzling. All righty, we'll check back in 15, the fat bubbling up there. What a healthy fish. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, yeah. All right, this is the easiest way to see if swordfish is done. Just try to peel the skin off. If it peels right off, you know it's done. That skin came right off. That fish is cooked, ready to eat. Let's go. Check it out, guys. Look at that swordfish. This is a very special fish, you guys. We've hooked some giants over the years. We've lost a lot. We finally caught the one we wanted. I can't wait to try it. We're gonna take a little piece of every one of them. Look how, I mean, look how good that looks. Not overdone. Put the sear marks on each side. Oh boy, that is nice and juicy. We're gonna try every one of them. Look at that. So we got some salad for some greens, plenty of meat there, swordfish. Let's give it a shot. It's really good. Swordfish is unlike a lot of other fish. It's like a meatier taste, just thicker, a little more dense, but it's nice and juicy. You can see the juice coming out of the top of it still. Shady's eating dinner over there as well. What do you think, Sarah? I've never eaten a fish this big before, so I was wondering if it was gonna be like different tasting. And that's 
as good a swordfish as I've ever had. That was some of the best swordfish I've ever had. It was a very special fish. 757 pounds. We're never gonna forget that one. And to make it even better, so many people are gonna get to eat that fish. We gave away a ton of bags to the marina employees, a bunch of fish to friends, and Bill and Debbie that caught the fish, they're gonna be eating good and all their friends too. We'll see you next time. Last bite. Mmm.